Hello YouTube, just another update. <clears throat> Today I've um, spent a bit of time and got my network sorted out. So now I've finally got some reliable connectivity to the outside world so I can log into my tablet from wherever I want. Um, Still got some cleaning up to do, but I've got my router, which I'll probably mount on the side of the um, enclosure somewhere or up, sit it up the top or something. Um, mouse and keyboard is just for when I'm setting stuff up. But the main thing I wanted to show you is, apart from the battery voltage being down a bit, is I've got my remote battery bank monitoring hardware and software installed so down here in the battery compartment and I've moved things around a bit and yes there is a vomit of wire there the reason why it's so messy at the moment is because the cable length is all the same just for voltage drop reasons and it's the, the correct length for the new batteries uh, at the moment this is the 125 amp hour battery bank <clears throat> um, and if you can see down the bottom there's one of the new batteries in place I've had to make up a shelf so that's the shelf down there the second battery will go there third battery will go there I'll have to make up a new shelf and then the last battery will sit up the top here um, so because I've had this battery bank sitting around for so long um, for the last week or so it's been charging up um, I've also hooked up the battery extra just to uh, give it a bit of a freshen up like I said the battery voltage is down a little bit um, but um, this is just so I can see individual cell voltages and how the balancing has been since the system hasn't been in use <coughs> and I'm sorry if this is a bit weird, but anyway, we'll see how we go. The battery cell voltages, I am surprised. I was fully expecting this to be completely out of whack. Um, I have the battery equaliser ready to go. And... I will be hooking that up anyway, why wouldn't you? It's just another level of security, really. Um, I'll probably have to make the leads longer for the new bank, but that's beside the point. I came here fully expecting these batteries to be all over the place, like volts out from each other, because nothing's been, uh, you know, running and no maintenance at all has been done since basically September last year. So what's that, six months, seven months or something longer? And as you can see, the battery voltages are... I wouldn't even be worried. That's... you can't even... with the battery balancer hooked up, I couldn't even get the voltages that close. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I was like I said, I was fully expecting these batteries to be well borderline borderline stuffed, but um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with that. One thing I'm thinking of is maybe using that as the second bank. Let me know what you think in the comments if it's a stupid idea or not, considering that these are 125 amp hour batteries, and they'll be in parallel with a. 280 amp hour battery so almost three times the capacity am I wasting my time or I mean capacity's capacity they'll be in parallel the voltage um, the balancer will be hooked up into the system the battery extra is going to be hooked up into the system anyway that's something for me to think about let me know what you think all right, um, over the next few days, I'll get the other shelf made up. I'll get the batteries in there. I have to alter the lengths of the cabling. 
I've got lugs somewhere, but I'm still unpacking stuff. That's why it's taken me a bit longer to do these videos. Um, yeah, and I've got to make up some uh, jumper wires and stuff so that... Uh, because there'll be a battery on each shelf, shelf, so I've got to basically have one long enough to reach from shelf to shelf. So these small cables in here are only about 8 inches, 10 inches long or something, so they won't be long enough. But I do have uh, one interconnector, might be able to hopefully cut in half. And then the active or positive terminal will be up the very top, so I might be able to borrow a bit of length off that anyway that's it for now um, now that I've got my um, internet connectivity problems sorted out I'll be able to do a lot of this stuff from home keep things monitored wherever home may be because I might have some news tomorrow afternoon I've got a job interview so we'll see what happens and um, yeah until next time I'll catch you all later Bye for now.